Cattle are dying. Birds are dying. People are dying. Everything's dying. It's like the laws of entropy. Only all the time. I can hear like an air raid siren. Now it wants me to go to the windmill. Surely that's what that meant just then. You would think the windmill's the focal point here. I did. Yeah, look at it, it keeps doing it. That must be the the direction. But I had this habit of getting a bit drunk and then buying like 15 bags of Space Invaders, which I don't know if that's a universal snack. They were chips or crisps, depending on where you come from. Uh, they were pickled onion flavoured, like triangles. And I used to wake up the next day <laughs> with my throat cut to shit because I must have eaten them without even chewing or something because I was so drunk, or oh, on that way anyway. I just pile them in. It wasn't the best move if you were picking up a girl, but if you were hungry, it sure as shit worked well. Hang on a second. This is leading to a different bit. One second, Lizzie. I'll be with you in a moment. I need to check out the windmill. That dramatic lighting change as well. But there was there was a girl there who Aiden thought was was pretty good looking and he liked her. So we were talking to her. She had a friend, as they always do. And I'm stood there filling my face with space invaders <laughs> while Aiden works his game. Very uh, emphatic music. And we got to know these girls. We saw them a couple of other times. And we used to talk on MSN Messenger, which... I think a lot of Americans at the time were using AIM, which I assume is just the same thing, just a different brand, maybe. And when I was talking to this girl that Aiden was chatting up, trying to kind of see, you know, the, the level of interest that she had for him so that I could get some information and help him, kind of deal. The girl said she preferred me. And at that time, I wasn't even going for any of them. I was just, you know, with a buddy, having some drinks, eating Space Invaders. Another one of those big events, it seems. My name is Frank Jacob Appleton. God, he's gonna kill himself. And if you're listening to this, then maybe Stephen was right. And by sending the planes, he stopped it all getting worse. It's a beautiful morning. Oh. Fuck I that. wasn't there when Mary died. I was too scared. So I went to the pub instead. Oof. What will be, will be, Frank, she said. And I just want you to face it with me. Oh, dude. And I didn't. But I will now. I will face it with you now, Mary. They're coming.
That is heart wrenching, that. I can't imagine. I'm somebody who's incredibly good at being afraid. <laughs> I think it's one of those human traits we all have that we're really good at. It's one of the things that keeps us alive. It's one of the things that makes us strive to, to wake up in the morning. But on a slightly lighter note, back to the story. I was in that weird position then of knowing that maybe I had a chance with a girl, yet my friend really liked her. And I didn't really do too much about it and we saw him a couple times. I told him though, because you've got to, aren't you? You can't have a buddy, like, pissing in the wind for no reason. And I think he took it well. And I never knew if she was just, like, fucking with me. Because she turned out to be a really exploitative girl. And we stopped at her house. We were actually at a friend's house one time, both me and Aiden and these two girls. No doubt me and Aiden were images of, like, a crazy orgy going down. Not what happened at all. But the one thing that was an alarm bell for me is is the girl's whose house we stopped at, she had the filthiest toilet I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. <laughs> it was like shit pan brown all the way up, like places where shit doesn't even hit. Like how does it get so dirty? What the fuck is wrong with you people? So that put me off immediately, like I had no interest at that point. Goddamn savages. If you can't keep a clean toilet, you're not entertaining me. Where are we going? Like Lakeside Holiday Camp, the home of Yorton Valley. Can we uh, dabble with this? The problem is it moves by itself, so you can't tell if you're affecting it with six axis or if it's just like doing nothing. Uh, really? Are you fucking with me? Can't tell. Watch these be the tough ones, and they've got like the best information. I just look like a twat pretending my controller's a steering wheel. I'm done with this. Mrs. Graves, Lizzie, Mrs. Graves. Rachel, hey, what on earth's going on? Oh, it's raining. The thunder and the lightning, and all the power went out, and everyone was in the hall, so I told them all to stay put. And then Sean, Sean Davis said he was going to be told what to do by a stupid bloody girl and went out for a cigarette. And then Dick come back. And then Di, she went out after him and she didn't come back either. Where is Dylan? Was he with Sean and Di? No, I'd be looking after him. Do you think they'll come back? I don't know, Rachel. I don't care what anyone thinks. I just know if he was my baby, I could never leave him. Even if the whole world was coming to an end, I'd make sure he came first. You'd be a good mum, Rachel. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Go, go back inside and tell everyone that they're doing a great job. A really wonderful job. I just got a few things to finish up here, and then I'll come in and join you. Right. Go on. Ringing telephone. Just has to be answered, doesn't it? So we are here. Look at this place. This is serpentine as shit. I missed a tickle drew that map. That's been a PG thirteen humour there for you. That probably nobody remembers. <laughs> Yeah, it's not all crude and rude on this channel. We do have some dignity. I am quite surprised just at what the gameplay is on this game. And don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying it. I'm finding it really intriguing, but I, I know for a certain there's going to be some folk that just don't have the patience for this. Save them. Just pack a case and meet me at the station. They've closed the lines. Weren't you listening to the radio? Because of the flu. There is no flu, Lizzie. Oh, Christ, Stephen, I'm not stupid. Of course there's no flu. But the stations are still closed. There's an access footpath that runs alongside the main tunnel. You can get out that way. They won't have thought of it. You know what's going on, don't you? You can't use the phone anymore. 
Is that those people that got hit by the train? Listen, just don't use the phone after this. No TV or radio either. It can hide in the signal. You make it sound like it's alive. I don't think we have a word for what it is. Just promise me, don't tell anyone. Pack quietly, meet me at the station tomorrow, all right? I feel awful lying and leaving all these people here. Fuck them. It was a brilliant idea about the show. Top marks for that, you clever thing. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. It can hide in the signal. That's chilling. That's a great line. What is happening there? It's like somebody went into Photoshop and used like a Gaussian blur or what's those uh, filters? Those shitty filters that, like make it look like brick a brac. <laughs> Baby's first Photoshop. We all did it, don't you lie. Tennis courts? Tennis courts? Really? This must be posh this place. Tennis courts. No tennis courts around here. Just suffering and drug dealers. Um Let's go to the tennis courts. I always go left. Rule of thumb, go left. I love that sound. That rain looks like shit, but I'm glad there's atmospherics. Boy, Shipley, I want a word with you. What? Get over here, soft lad, and keep your voice down. Soft lad. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Yes. You work for Meg Holloway? Charlie Tate. You can call me Charlie. Look at the light in the water. Charlie. I like it. Rachel Baker. What about her? Oh, come on, son. I wasn't born yesterday. Are you looking to get your head kicked in? She's 16. She's not a kid. You try telling her dad that. Ooh. He'll bloody kill you. I love her, though. You can't stop love. I'm not telling you to stop anything. Just be careful, that's all. For those who are not aware of our laws in this country, 16 is the legal age of consent. Which is hilarious when you look back in history and you see like eight year olds getting married off. But then again, it's one of those things where our collective conscience is grown so large it now stings us. Very interesting question isn't it? When is... when does somebody stop being a child and start being an adult? Do you have to be an adult to partake in consensual sex? Very, very divisive conversation. The type of thing I would have in public with a stranger, but the type of thing my girlfriend would then probably chastise me for talking about. <laughs> Then again, it all depends on the crowd. I just don't really give a fuck. People are so touchy these days, it's ridiculous. Just tell a few dick stories, get over yourself, you prude. That's too close when it does that. Don't touch it. It's fine. It's like a sunburn, but it's a funny shape. Is it sore? I can't feel it at all. Don't fuss over it. I can't it's believe you left Kate there. Why won't you tell me what happened? <sighs> She's probably not even noticed I've gone. Uh, it's really we... nothing. Are we fucked? What have we done? We had a run. She'll work all night anyway. Stephen, listen to me. Was there an accident? <laughs> Is that how your face got burnt? It's nothing. Something, I don't know. It hurts my eyes, I can't look at it. Up and then we fought. She wanted to stay and collect more data. Was she burnt as well? Is everything all right? Jesus, Liz, are you sleeping with me or her? She's fine, we're both fine. I don't want to talk about her. I came here to see you. I just worry... Well, don't. Come to bed. Oh, I think I fucked it. When was the last checkpoint? <gasps> Dude, come on! Really? Oh, this you walk too slow for these kind of shit. I don't want to take a picture of a failing game. Come on, oh, what do we do? 
fuck. So fucking wonderful. I'm not even gonna answer you now, fuck you. Stupid crashy game. With no sprint. So he talked to that fella over there. I'm not gonna do it, you can suck a big fat dick. What's going on there? Looks like they're chasing each other. That was a caravan. You know what would really be bad? If you have to trigger these events to get the next ones. So the tennis courts are this way. That's where this cutscene kicked off. And then it killed itself. Suicide by motion blur. I don't even care that he was screwing her. What made me angry was that he treated me like I was too stupid to notice. I dream through the light storm and see the pattern dancing on his skin as he burns. I wake up with eyes full of liquid light. That was a concentrate all five remaining towers on the same point in the sky. If it is establishing conduits for communication, that should create a jump in bandwidth. That was a cool line. Dancing on his skin. That is a tennis ball. That is also a tennis ball. I don't get cheating, I just don't have it in me. And it doesn't come from a lack of sexual appetite or an interest in the uh, fairer sex, it just... I don't get it. I'll never understand it and I'll never... Never forgive it, either. Can I not do anything with this? I don't think so. Here we go. Hey, it's just been on the radio that they're closing the roads. Something about the flu? Do, no one here has flu, Sean. No one here? No flu here. Yeah? I overheard Mrs. Graves and she said another family of Upton left. She said they must have left last night, but the car and all that stuff's still here. Screw this day. That's 15 people up there left in two days. I don't like it. <laughs> Where's the baby? That accident. in the caravan. <laughs> Sean, I don't want to sit around you waiting for it to get worse. I reckon if we leave now, we can get out of the valley before they get their acts together and close the roads. You think so? Yeah, we can go the back roads. Do you think this is that woods. couple that I'll leave some money on the side for Mrs. Graves. driver off the road? You know her husband isn't back here either. He's a boozer, right? That's what I've heard. That's her problem That's anyway. Heard. Don't be unkind, Sean. Come on, let's go and get there then. Like my geography is terrible of this country. I don't even know if Shropshire is close to the West Country, but with the sound of those people, it, it, it's not a guarantee, but they're definitely from that direction. Which is hilarious, because you think about it. It's not England's not a big place. Not a big place at all. Neither is Wales. Combined, they're not big places. The UK is not a big place. Collectively, you put it all together, you've probably got, like, Texas. Because we're, we're just an island, dog. But you can get a bus 15 minutes away, and people talk different. <laughs> because that's the way that language has evolved. It's so strange to have these regional dialects everywhere that just transcend my... Pitiful understanding of the evolution of language. I, I know that's no help. Can you leave me alone? There was nothing we could do. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I've woken the baby. Just leave me alone. Rachel, I'm sorry. Sorry. Sometimes sorry is not enough, bro. Reception, main hall, and pool. I, 
I've never seen rocks like that just randomly strewn around <laughs> in the countryside. Like, I could do with rocks like that. They look so climbable. There's no rocks like that where I live. God damn it. Come right here. You. Chasing a tennis ball or whatever that is. Telefono. Hi, this is Kate Collins and Stephen Appleton. Leave a message. Stephen, it's me. I'm leaving. I've waited as long as I can. If you are there to meet me, I'm leaving for the station now, but I am going anyway, whether you're there or not. I love you. Oof. Please cold, be there. Cold son of a bitch. I love you. He's married! Bitch! I'm gonna physically educate you with my belt! There's this little thing called fidelity, and I'm gonna slap it into you, woman. The hell is this? Like a trailer park. Then again, the caravans aren't the caravans, we weird patios. <laughs> Do like the lighting, it looks so nice. Oh. Little shanty things. found it like this? Yeah. I got into the habit of checking in first thing in the morning just to make sure he's had his pills. I need to be careful Mr. Coles turning is not a well the camera when it's generating It's entirely these. possible he upped and wandered off. If things progressed, the mind can be a fragile thing, you know? He's just not very like him, that's all I'm saying, Doctor. He never misses the mid-morning bingo. He didn't smoke, did he? Something on this bed? Mm, is your roof leaking? It's so funny. It's like ash. Well, that, that is odd. Reese cleaned in here yesterday afternoon. I'll have to have a word. It's not like cigarette ash. Strange. Dr. Wade, there's just been a phone call. We need it back at the village. Apparently, Mrs. Barton has disappeared. Yes, there's a lot of that going around recently. A very dull platinum sky. Just a hint of lavender. Well, it's nice to see the communities coming apart at the seams. It only took the rapture to trigger it. I used to love five-a-side football. That shit was beast, dude. It's quite something, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You ever seen anything like it? They must be well happy at the observatory place. They're probably all partying there right now. This is right, boss. <laughs> oh, look at the tiling on that texture. Ooh, dude, you couldn't line it up? That's me, short leash. Why would you not line it up? Bloody teething. Mrs. will kill me if I'm gone too long. <laughs> Good night, Ned. No, I... Hey ladies, uh, anybody home? 
I wonder if we'll see a person in this game. I reckon that Kate's probably still alive. She's gonna be Ripley in this shit. Like a black Ripley. Blipley. A lot of places are chopping wood. What if this? Then it's back in early eighties, isn't it? Where coal was king, and you had to like chop wood and shit to set up your coal fires. It's probably people listening to this that don't even remember that shit. Like scrunching up your newspaper, getting your your wood set up, and your coal starting a fire. That is a skill we're gonna lose, cause I can't remember how to do that shit. It's been years since I watched my dad do it. But that's what every household used to do. In, well, in my neck of the woods, anyway. When was the last time you saw a coal bunker? You even know what a coal bunker is? I used to jump on the buggers. I always had the biggest spiders inside as well. Shit pens, I hated them. Something's over there. You shouldn't be smoking, you know. Not in your condition. <laughs> Stephen's fault. He got me started again. I'm not going to try and stop you, but the weather's looking pretty rough. There's a storm coming. That's what Stephen said. He said he'll meet me, but there's things he has to do first. Is it metaphorical? He seems to think that all of this is connected to him. I don't know. I I'm going anyway, whether he comes or not. I'm assuming Stephen has thought of a way through the quarantine. Well, he's clever. you got to give him that. Do you trust him, though? Well, I love him. So I'd hope that was good enough. I hope so, too. Listen, if you can't get through, for whatever reason, I'm uh, getting people together at the village hall, rounding up stragglers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I've got all the campers together here, doing a show. Peter Pan. The kids love it. It'll take their minds off things. Hey, did you say that? Yeah. There go the kids. They just up and fucked it off. Great. Now my bearings are gone. The end of a world. It came not with a bang, but with a whisper.